Train the muscles, not the joints. Bodybuilding. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about alcohol because somebody asked in the comments about drinking and whether it's good for bodybuilding or not. Oh, that's the guy that I was shooting at earlier. You need a protein shake? I didn't mean to do that. Um, there's a lot of different body types out there, different genetics, all that kind of stuff, different sensitivities to different foods and different things that I've uh, encountered over the years. I've seen some guys drink their face off and still make bodybuilding gains and things, so it's not like you can't do it. Uh, some people have a greater tolerance for certain toxicity more than others, but I'm just here to share my experience and what I found to be true for myself. Now, I don't drink at all. I haven't drank any alcohol for a long, long time because I just find it makes my body feel like crap and I really get nothing out of it. Uh, but the other reason why is that I always found that when I did drink alcohol that my body would somehow uh, take about five or six days to adapt to it as far as there would be some side effect. At the peak of my bodybuilding career, when I was training and, and you know everything was about what my physique looked like on a daily basis and what PRs I was making, all that kind of stuff, I would notice that when I drank, the next day my training would be okay. You know, sometimes it would almost be actually pretty good. But then successively over the period of the week, I found that it took me about five or six, sometimes a whole week, five or six days or, or a whole week just to get my pump back when I'm in the gym. It's almost like I, I would lose that muscle pump in the muscles. There was like, it was almost like my body was sending the blood flow somewhere else, which is probably my liver, right? Trying to get rid of the alcohol, so. All right, it's chicken and sausage time again. I've got some of these bison sausages again. And I'm gonna drop them on the ground here. But bison, so bison's pretty good. And then uh, chicken breast, so. Yeah, I cook them all up at once. It's a lot easier than, you have to cook every meal, you'll never eat. You'll just be so busy cooking all the time, you'll never eat enough, so. Don't worry, I wash my hands. In the toilet. The thing is with alcohol, it's a fact that alcohol causes you to put on more fat. I mean, it's not just the calories, but it also throws off your blood sugar and stuff by uh, after a certain amount, it can inflame your pancreas, so that will uh, influence your insulin production and how your body deals with sugar and things. Uh, but at the same time, I find that uh, besides the hangover, because <laughs> that's another thing that gets in the way of your motivation for workouts, I found that it didn't work because uh, I found my strength will go down. Now, there are some studies out there, Now I don't believe in studies all the time, but there are some studies that actually support that alcohol is a direct toxin to muscle fibers to do with strength. Right? So if that's true, then alcohol is definitely bad for you if you want to put on strength or put on muscle mass because you need that strength in order to put on the muscle, right? You gain the strength and then you do the strength endurance type work and then that's how you put on muscle. So there's a number of different reasons why I don't think alcohol is really a good idea if you're looking to make bodybuilding gains. And the reason why is, first of all, your blood sugar is going to be thrown off a bit. Uh, second of all, your body's going to be dealing with the toxins in the liver rather than producing bile or dealing with the, the fat in your system because if your liver's busy dealing with toxins, it's not going to be able to deal with helping you burn off the body fat and deal with the toxins associated with that as well. And at the same time, uh, hangovers aren't conducive for workouts and at the same time, blood flow. If there's a lack of blood flow or less blood flow during the hangover phase, you're not necessarily going to get the same type of workouts. Now, I know some people say, you know, the capillaries and everything get uh, opened up when you have alcohol, but that's only short term. I mean, but what happens to your body over the next week or so after you get roaring drunk or whatever, right? Yeah, I get the stuff at my local butcher shop. So uh, chicken's like non-GMO corn. Well, I don't even know what it is. It's just fresh. That's what it is. But it's not that box crap. And then the bison is uh, like lots of natural flavors and stuff like that in there. So it's pretty good. Yeah, so I was at the butcher the other day and I got it, got this stuff there, so it's always a pleasure when they see me. Whenever I go to the butcher shop, I mean, they're always they're just so happy to see me because I'm so easy to deal with, right? That's 
where the chicken goes. Hey, Corey. <laughs> Are you recording? Yeah. After you what, sorry? Just only get the right side of my case right now. I want to get the right <laughs> side because this is like this is the stuff that you haven't put footprints on. No footprints on. So this is this is the side that there's no footprints on. That side, I'm not going to show it to you because it would just be bad promotion for the shop. But this side is the place where they they don't fish it out of the dumpster out of the other butcher shops. Like the other butcher shops, they have a dumpster where they discard stuff that's expired. That's where they get a lot of their product. Uh, but yeah, this is the good stuff, right? This isn't. Oh. <laughs> Hill is so considerate here. Town butcher is so considerate. Like if you're a fitness buff and you want to make sure you get your workout in, but you're so busy shopping, you don't get a chance. Look, he puts a step here, so that way while you're at the cash register buying your stuff, you can actually do some step classes. Mountain. If you drink in moderation, I still feel like the burden of the alcohol will play a role in throwing off your system, and I don't think that it's gonna be very conducive to gains, and that's why, like I saw one guy die down for a show, and he was trying to convince me very strongly that a calorie in and a calorie out, that's all that matters when you're getting lean for a show. And he would drink a glass of wine every night before he got ready for the show. Now what he looked like by the time the bodybuilding show came is a beached whale. He looked like crap on stage compared to what he looked like in other shows that he went to. And so it was living proof for me to watch how he managed his calories and had the perfect amount of calories, but he looked like absolute shit, honestly, on stage. And he, he said like he got like last place. Meanwhile, this is a show that he actually won the overall in before. And that was only a year before. So this is the thing I've, I've seen people and the results that happen from drinking and from trying to mix diet and drinking and stuff together and it, it doesn't work. So you could try it yourself, try your own experiment. I mean, most people that drink, they want to defend it no matter what. They say, no matter what, I gotta, I gotta be able to drink. And they'll come up with all sorts of mythology around it. So if you want to do that, go ahead. But uh, I'm just here to share my experience. So yeah, I hope this helps you out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you need to get home, me, just go to naturalandbodybuilding.com. And thanks to the patient supporters and take care for now. Apparently it's Bill's birthday. So I don't know when I'm gonna put this video up. So happy birthday, Bill. Uh, I'm glad that you're around so I can bust your chops. All right, cool. All right, I'll keep buying my meat here even though it's shitty. Thanks. <laughs>